Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Entertainment Podcast, your source for all things entertainment. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Veronica Villanova on the line, and she's founder over at Veronica Villanova Enterprises. Veronica, welcome to the show. Hello, Adam. How are you today? All is well, and I'm excited to get into today's topic. So we're going to talk about your book, The Grace of Cancer, Lessons in Humility and Greatness. Um, But first, just to kick it off, tell us a little bit more about your background, please. Well, um, prior to writing this book, I'm a mother of three. And I stayed home and raised my three children, grown-up children, um, and moved to L.A. from the Bay Area. And now I'm an entrepreneur. That's awesome. Um, Let's uh, let's just jump right into this book. So first off, The Grace of Cancer, Lessons in Humility and Greatness. Um, First off, awesome cover. So I saw the cover and it just stuck out to me. I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. Uh, What was the inspiration for the book? Well, the book cover is, I don't know if you know the concept of wabi-sabi. It's a Japanese concept. Basically, in Japanese culture, um, something that's broken and glued back together with gold, which is a precious metal, is um, perceived as more valuable than something that is perfect. So it's finding perfection in your own imperfections. Um, And my cover is exactly that. So... What you see in front with that uh, looks like that's traced in gold, that's where my tumors were. And I wanted to highlight that in the front and then where my lungs. And then in the back, if you turn my book over, over um, in the hard co- copy, the back has um, where it shows where my physical pain was. Because when mm. you have lung cancer, the pain that you feel is on your back, not necessarily on the front. Of your body. Mm. So that's that's where I got that wabi sabi concept. So tell us a little bit more about the book. So tell us a little bit more about the content and what you would like readers to get from it. Well, I mean, the reason why I wrote this book is because it's a book that did not exist when I was diagnosed with stage four metastatic incurable lung cancer. Um, I was given six months um, prognosis and. Obviously, I went to research mode and um, didn't find really anything or anyone's story that I was able to relate to or find comfort or, you know, some strategies to heal myself. So, you know, um, I had to create my own healing protocol along with a naturopathic doctor. And, you know, once... You know, first of all, it's a book that I wrote because it didn't exist. And then when you heal yourself, especially from a horrific disease like cancer, and you're told six months that you have six months to live, it becomes a responsibility and a privilege to heal other people. And that's what I'm doing today. Um, I couldn't really keep my story to myself, especially knowing that there are other people suffering and dying from the same disease I had. So the moment I realized I went, you know, that I've healed myself and the tumors have all disappeared from my body and that I'm alive and that I'm well and I'm thriving, I realized this is my purpose. There's a reason why I had this disease. And it's almost like I was selected. And I say that with such humility. It's not an ego thing. And so I could have kept my story to myself, but I thought there's a reason I, I had, you know, I got this disease. And it's to help other people in their healing journey. So, Veronica, and uh, and to the listeners, we're not going to have time to go through the entire book, nor would we if we did have the time, because I want you to go out there and buy it, so it's really easy to find. (laughs) I went on Amazon, I typed in Veronica Villanueva, you hit enter, and it comes right up. Um, That being said, though, I do want to dive into some of it. So, um, Chapter 5, Western Medicine and Alternative Medicine. Can you give us a flavor of what um, people should expect when reading this section? Well, I think... First and foremost, you need to know the difference between Western medicine and integrative medicine. So Western medicine is like I have a Western oncologist, and he basically, um, you know, I see him twice a year, and the difference really is that with Western medicine, and and this is not just talking about, this is just being in general, they talk to you um, and, and treat you 
and your symptoms, whereas integrative medicine go very deep and, you know, the objective is to find the underlying cause of the disease or any of your symptoms rather than masking it with any type of medication. So that's the big difference. And so Western medicine couldn't do anything else for me, really. Um, basically, they gave me a diagnosis, they gave me a prognosis, and, I mean, we were waiting for being to not be here. I can't even say the word because I don't believe in, you know, using language that disempowers me. Whereas integrative medicine gave me hope, um, and that's using natural therapy as part of the strategy to treat the cancer and the tumors that were in my body. And that's what I did. I went, you know, I went, I did everything from A to Z and being guided by a, you know, several integrative doctors. That's what the is big one, difference. What is one of your, and uh, when I say favorites, I don't mean favorites, and it doesn't, because it doesn't have to necessarily be the, a positive thing or negative. Um, what's one of your um, top moments in the book or stories that you share in the book? Um, I guess being told that I have cancer mm. because I never expected it. Um, mm -hmm. I've always felt like I was healthy, and I mean, even the five doctors that gave me the uh, the prognosis and the diagnosis were shocked because I looked really healthy. I was a tennis player, competitive tennis player, and um, I didn't drink. I didn't really. I didn't smoke and. I wasn't one of these, you know, I'm, I'm a chef, so I eat well. So it was my lifestyle, it was the stress that created the disease in my body. So, um, yeah, that was a shock. If there was anything that I wasn't thinking I would have, it was cancer. Wow. So, Veronica, that being said, uh, what's next for you? So the book's out, you're out promoting, I love it. Um, what's next for you? Next is I'm living the life I want to live and that I'm meant to live, which is, um, again, this is a story that happened to me, and I believe that it gave me my next purpose in life, which is, you know, when you heal people, when you heal yourself, um, you have that responsibility of really healing yourself, uh, not only healing yourself, but healing other people, especially with cancer, because it is one of the the meanest disease and the most horrific disease out there. Um, and the other thing is now I'm coaching people, mindset. Um, I'm helping people with cancer and without cancer, preventative, um, you know, these disease control for people who don't ever want any disease in their bodies. And um, I'm also launching, I, I have a second company that I'm launching um, as well with CBD products and cannabis because I use both to heal myself. So I'm quite excited because, um, you know, these products are birthed because, once again, as, you know, as I have these clients who are asking me what I did to heal myself, then, they, then the next question obviously is, where do I find these products that you created yourself? And I thought, okay, rather than saying I don't know of anybody doing what I did, so I thought, the not, most natural thing is for me to create these products so that not only am I guiding people through their healing um, journey, but I'm also giving them not only the practical steps, but also the products that I use to heal myself. So that's where I'm at. And I'm quite excited. This is, uh, you know, being in my 50s and becoming an entrepreneur, wow. I mean, what a privilege. So I'm grateful. I'm blessed. So, uh, wow, that is – what an amazing story. Uh, so, Veronica, that being said, I love you. I love, love the story. Love you for coming on the show and sharing it with all of, the, all of our listeners that can benefit from it and, and also be inspired from it. I mean, what an amazing journey. Everyone definitely go out and check out that book. So you just type in Veronica Villanueva on, on, on Amazon, and it, it pops right up. I mean, it's very, very easy to find. Um, so if somebody wants to connect with you, not just on the book, but in, on your coaching or any of the other um, – projects you're working on, Veronica, what's the best way for people to follow up and to learn more about what you're doing? Well, you can go to my website, veronicavillanueva.com, and you can also follow me on social media. My Instagram um, is Badass Belief Coach. Um, you can get a flavor of, of who I am and what I'm all about, and also Facebook, Veronica Villanueva, and um, 
that's about it. I mean, you know, and the grace of cancer through Amazon. Um, so I'm kind of all over. I mean, I've launched a business um, beginning of this year, so it's thriving. So I'm really, really excited. And people yeah, are I... uh, people are ready, you know. People are ready to make the switch to becoming healthy. And it's not just for people with cancer, by the way. Like I said, it's preventative and as well as people who just want to be healthy because, as you know, our modern lifestyle is not a healthy lifestyle. No, I love it. I love what you're doing. I love the message and uh, that you've chosen to to take your blessing and become a blessing with it. So all great stuff there. Um, To to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Entertainment, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Veronica, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me.